Disney's gonna Disney, and this new line of refurbished Disney princesses will not surprise you. Mission Impossible, well, it ain't doing as well as I expected it to. Grace Randolph, one of the most artificial YouTube movie critics, said that the Barbie movie was one of the greatest films she's ever seen. Super fun, and super feminist. That's sure to please the crowds, especially if your name rhymes with a schmust and schmudo. And if you're an old dudes getting together with gold diggers, well, Disney gonna Disney. So, here we go. Welcome to the Puppet Daily-ish, where we stick more to the ish than the daily, but we hope that eventually changes soon, when we get monetized. Anyway, last week I predicted that Mission Impossible 7 was going to make $300 million. And well, I was wrong. I was also wrong about how good the movie was going to be, so... Not something I necessarily voiced, but I was excited for this movie, which was the only movie I was actually excited for this summer, so I had high expectations. So far, it's made $235 million. Last week, the estimates were $250 million, which, if you listen to guys like Culture Casino, they've been saying that this is a pattern in uh, most tentpole films lately. So, truthfully, I have no idea how this is going to play out. Is it going to do what guys like Valiant Renegade say and leg out well? I don't know. But, uh, it's a movie, and it was a thing. And it was, well, it was fun. Not the best Mission Impossible. I stand by that wasn't the worst, so. Disney is pushing further into race swapping and cultural appropriation. Bet you didn't see that coming. On the ground right now, WDW Pro is out at Disney in the middle of the day taking pictures of all the uh, enormous crowds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Well, while there, he snapped this picture of a doll line. Yeah, toys. So, something that Disney clearly doesn't know how to sell. In the picture, you can see on the bottom what I assume to be Merida from Brave and, obviously, Rapunzel. And on the top, you got Snow White and Tiana. Now, I know what you're thinking. How could Disney race swap Snow White? But, I do think it's hilarious that Tiana is just, well... A in a different dress. So, talk about commitment. Hey, Disney! <laughs> hmm. Neighbors bothering you with their loud music? You know what's in there. Your boss or coworker harassing you. Lately. Wait, what? Who said that? Bully Maze here with a solution that proves every problem has a mortality rate. Introducing Shank Crate, your all-in-one monthly subscription box that can take care of those in-your-face issues. Each box contains new and unique materials for you to build your very own custom shank. And for your protection, the contents of each box are totally secret until you receive it. And not only does it create solutions, it also serves as a creative outlet, like an adult form of Lego. Whether you're conscientious about the earth or just not opposed to being a good steward of the environment, each shank crate and its contents are made of 100% recycled materials to make sure we're environmentally friendly. And if you order now, we'll be extra sensitive to the environment environment and keep all the original fingerprints on the items for your convenience. All for the low cost of $19.99 a month. But wait again, there's even more. To be inclusive, culturally respectful, and as patriotic as possible, each monthly box is themed after a unique prison in the U.S. of A. So call 626-831-9333 now to get your very own unique, patriotic, and environmentally friendly shank crate with your own personal alibi insurance. Barbie's the movie that's uh, still turning heads well, away because it's pushing hard into the feminist propaganda agenda machine thing. Grace Randolph says the movie is super fun and super feminist. As I talk with people, they're very excited about this movie. And because I don't want to be a jerk, I don't let them know what other promotional stuff there, that, that there's been that's gone out. Unless they ask, to which, every single time, they all begin with a smile. And as I start to talk, their shoulders drop, their smile fades, and you just see a blank expression of soulless yay come to the forefront of their demeanor. Everyone's sick and tired of this nonsense, and uh, everyone, well, they, they see it for what it is now. Yeah, Barbie is feminist, but it's not third wave feminist. It's just empowered women, and that's fine. But what people are sick of and tired of is the whole third wave feminism junk. 
Barbie just showed women can do things and have fun. What this movie should have been is just the, the living, breathing version of Barbie Life in the Dreamhouse, a hilarious TV show that I watched with my daughters when they were younger. Didn't take itself too seriously, and it was just fun and full of the whole member berries thing because it was toys and it was funny. Right, like Barbie's elevator. Didn't have buttons. On to Wilton. Thank you, Floral. Lastly, Disney's so starved for fresh content because, well, everything they put on Disney Plus, it's trash and not worth the time, energy, or investment into simply porting it to cable and just playing it. It's financially beneficial for the company to <laughs> not do that. And it's also financially beneficial that they're, they're, they're not going to be having writers or actors to work with or pay. They're going to be saving a bunch of money. And you're going to see that in the, uh, what they're going to be doing is pushing harder back into reality TV. Now, you get to watch on ABC, which is also currently owned by Disney, an old man trying to hook up with old women. I know what that sounds like. A lot of fun to a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, maybe they'll have a girl or two that's like his kid's age. But uh, I think this show is just simply tantalizing. And I know that you can't wait for it either. And so I, I'm excited, actually, for, like, Az or Disparu to review this thing, because it's gonna be great. So get excited, boys and girls. Your next bachelor, he's 72 years old. And, uh, I hope he doesn't have, like, a heart attack or something. Do they have to take blood pressure meds to be on this so? Because, oh, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Well, it would be great. <laughs>